Good morning, all. Uh, I'm Dr. Amar Nath, Senior Lecturer, Department of All Medicine and Radiology, MA Stanley College. Today, we'll be dealing with the topic called ideal radiographs. So, what do you mean by an ideal radiograph? An ideal radiograph is one that provides a great deal of information. The image exhibits proper density and contrast and has sharp outlines and is of the same shape and size as the object being radiographed. <clears throat> the characteristics of an ideal radiograph are visual characteristics, that is, it includes density and contrast. Geometric characteristics, Ge it includes sharpness or detail, resolution or definition, magnification and distortion. Uh, anatomical accuracy of radiographic image, adequate coverage of the anat anatomic region of the interest. So these are the characteristics of an ideal radiograph. If you are able to maintain all these uh, characteristics, you will get, I'm sure that you'll be able to get an ideal radiograph. So let's go into the image characteristics. It basically contains radiographic density, radiographic contrast, latitude, speed, radiographic motor, sharpness, and resolution. So what is radiographic density? Density is the degree of darkening of an exposed X-ray film, that is, it is the overall blackness or darkness of a dental radiograph. Uh, density zero means 100% of the light is transmitted. Density one means 10% of the light is transmitted. Density two means 1% of the light is transmitted. Density three means 0.1% of the light is transmitted. For a useful range, of film density, it is 0.3, that is very light to two, which is very dark. So it should be in between this range. So you'll, uh, the density will be adequate. So the overall density of the film affects the diagnostic value of the film. Two light in this, in this, uh, you can see here, the first, first image is of is two light. Second one is with ideal density. And the other one is too dark. Density is mainly influenced by exposure factor, patient size, object density, and film fault. So what are the exposure factors? The exposure factors are MA, KVP, exposure time. Increase in any of these factors results an increase in the film density. Patient size. Fewer X-rays will reach the film in a patient with an increased amount of soft tissue or dense bone. So as a result, the radiograph will appear light and have less density. That is, uh, you need more X-rays to pass through the soft tissue to reach the film. So uh, if the KVP is of the normal range, the image, I mean, uh, the image will have a less density in the radiograph. But if you increase the um, exposure factor, uh, the uh, X rays will go much more deep. I mean, it will penetrate more into the soft tissue and you'll you get, you get a much uh, better in, image. That is more denser. So what is object density and film density? Object density is determined by the type of material, that is metal, tool structure, composite. And it also includes uh, like the mm, thickness of the bone, etc. What is film density? How light or dark are the different parts of the film? Film density, that is the darkness, decreases when the object density is increased. So what is radiolution? Dark gray to black. Low object density results in high film density. That is, uh, object density like air, soft tissue, etc. are very less dense. 
so you will get high in the film it will appear more dark that is in this in this uh, red area you can see uh, the dark area it is air the the next grayish area is the soft tissue actually the bone is you can see as a much more uh, denser radio opaque area so what is radio opaque white to light gray high object density results in low film density that is amalgam to such a except such a bone etc since the uh, object is very dense uh the film density is less film appears more lighter the correct density then this should be able to see a faint outline of the soft tissue in edentulous spaces or distal to the third molar teeth when the radiograph is viewed under routine condition that is you should be able to identify the so, uh, air spaces soft tissue area and the bone area this is this is this this can uh, let you know that it has the correct density what is film form increase film density that is the uh, film appears more light from forces other than exposure to the primary x-ray beam that is when you when you uh, expose the film there will be scatter radiation in proper safe lighting during uh processing improper film storage expired film all these forces uh the uh, all this affect the density of the film that is the film density is increased with more light radiograph contrast so what is contrast the difference in the densities uh, between various region on a radiograph on a radiograph so high contrast a film that shows very light and very dark areas few shades of gray this is called high contrast and short gray scale this is best for caries detection low contrast a film that shows light gray and dark gray zone many shades of gray this is called long scale this is best for periapical or periodontal evaluation so the contrast is influenced by subject contrast kvp film contrast and fog subject contrast results from varying object densities within patient that is subject thickness his density and the atomic number so kvp affect the energy of x ray it is the kvp is the penetrating ability of the x rays so in the in this uh, here you can see an image this is called step wedging actually step wedging means uh, these are uh, layers of lead okay so this is single layer uh, second one is two layers of lead three layer four layer five layer so in the last area it, 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 this numbering area has the increased number of lead layers so in 40 kvp it penetrates till this mean it penetrates penetrates till this area that is if when you increase the kvp the penetrating power increases and uh, this uh, on the right side of this image you can see the difference 100 kvp causes penetration till that in the gray area so uh, what is uh, the film contrast it is incorporated into the film by manufacturer it is influenced by film density in the film fine screen and film processing film fog film fog makes the whole film darker making it harder to see the density difference in the left side you can see the density difference you see the difference air space is there the, the uh, soft tissue is there and the bone is there here you can you are not able to uh, differentiate between the air space and soft tissue only the bone and the, uh, the uh, dark area is there so what is latitude uh, latitude uh, represents the range of exposure 
that will produce diagnostically acceptable densities on a film. Latitude represents the range of exposure. Will that will produce diagnostically acceptable densities on a film. Increased latitude means decreased contrast. This mainly influenced by high KBP and reduced exposure. Speed. Speed represents the amount of radiation required to produce a radiograph of acceptable density. The higher the speed, the less radiation is needed. Controlled by the size of the silver halide crystals. So you have silver halide crystals in the emulsion. It, uh, it is uh, uh, called the Latin image formation. So it is controlled by the size of the silver halide crystals. What is radiographic modeling? Appearance of uneven density of an exposed radiographic film. That is, this is the appearance of uneven density of an exposed radiographic film, seen as small dark spots or light. High temperature processing is used. So, what is resolution? Ability of the radiograph to record separate structures that are close to each other. In a panoramic film, five lines uh, per mm. In a periodic film, it is ten lines lines per mm. So resolution is uh, if you like when you take a photo, uh, if you zoom it, if you if you can distinguish the uh, when you go closer and closer, and still if you are able to distinguish the things in the photo you can say that that pic, that photo is like high resolution i mean uh, it's of high resolution because even if you zoom the uh, image you can able, you'll be able to differentiate all the structures in that photo but if the resolution is not good if you go for a slight zoom itself the, the image look the image will look blurred actually so this is this is the resolution which you come across in your daily life because everybody is using your camera phones and all. So you can see, uh, you can uh, you can pick, take a picture in a high resolution and a lower resolution and zoom zoom it to zoom in the phone to see the difference. That is called the resolution. So it is mainly influenced by the focal spot size, motion, and image receptor. So sharpness. Sharpness is the effectiveness of the radiograph to define an edge. Sharpness is influenced by focal spot size, source object distance, object film distance, intensifying screens, film crystal size, um, motion. Okay. This is a motion artifact. The patient has more, so the whole sharp the, the sharpness has decreased significantly. So, what are the principles of shadow casting? The radiation source it should be as small as possible. Second one is the source object distance should be large. Object film distance should be small. Object and film should be parallel. X-ray beam should be always perpendicular to the object or film. So what is magnification? It is an increase in size. Magnification is greatly affected by source object distance and the object film distance. Magnification. Uh, Increase source object distance cause decrease magnification. So here is an example for it. The target is like uh, eight inch. Here you can see the magnification since the uh, source and uh, object distance is small, which causes increased magnification. When the when you uh, increase the uh, distance between the target and the uh, object, you will get less magnified image. Uh, that, now, the other thing is decreased object film distance. Okay. It is also cause decreased magnification. Yeah, the object is the tooth and the film is there. So when you decrease the uh, distance between the 
object and the um, film will get less magnification. Object and film nesting. When you uh, keep the keep object and make film near to the object, the magnification is reduced. So what is distortion? Distortion, change the shape or relationship. That is distortion actually is affected by film tip relationship and beam alignment. This is in parallel technique. The X-rays uh, pass parallel to the tooth and you'll get an image as shown in over here. If you go for an IOPA, there'll be a slight distortion. See. This is the uh, here you can see the difference, the balance and the bisecting and So uh, here you can see you the uh, image in the parallel technique, the and the crucial technique. In parallel technique, you can see that drawing uh, parallel to that uh, parallel image. Uh, in bisecting angle, you can see a slight uh, uh, difference. And in the um, occlusal, uh, occlusal uh, plane, you can see a really different image. So, what, what, what do you mean by ideal radiograph? An ideal radiograph should always, uh, should be, uh, image should be as same size as object. I mean, you should, you should get the same size as the object. If you take an IOPA of an uh, maximum anterior uh, incisor, like maximum anterior incisor, the size and shape of the tool should be same as, as, as you measure it in the clinical aspect. Like it should be the same size. There should not be any uh, increase, increase size or decrease size when you, when you come with the radiograph. Uh, the image should be same shape as the object. This, there should not be any distortion in the shape. It should be as the same shape, shape as the object. Uh, image has good detail. And, uh, it should be, the image should be clear. Uh, the sharpness should be well, the, the, should be well sharp. And the image has good density and contrast. The density and contrast has to be ideal so that you can see the image clearly. And everything is based on perception. Here you can see, what do you see? You can see a frog over here. But if, now what about this? Now it's a horse, right? <laughs> so anyways, thank you all. See you next class.